be, I'll be offering a guided loving kindness meditation. And this is definitely a meditation where we want to bring as much ease as possible to the body. So just uh, taking a moment to see if we want to shift position, we can, um, you know, we can do this practice standing, sitting, lying down, we could even bring in movement. So we might check in and see, oh, does my body like need to, do I need to bring in a little more energy? Would it be helpful to stand or do some movement? Or do I need more rest? Would it be helpful to lie down, get some cushions, get a little more comfortable? So just offering us um, our, ourselves just a moment to get adjusted if we need to, and then we'll get started. I'm gonna invite the sound of the bell to begin our practice. As we begin our practice period, just invite, invite our awareness to land in the body in any place that feels accessible. So it may be just tuning into just a sense of contact, our body resting on whatever it's resting on or we might invite the sound, the sensation of the breath. Or it could be with the eyes open that we take in just colors and shapes within our vision. Or engaging the sense of hearing. allowing sensations in the body wherever it feels easiest to be a way to meet this moment, bring some awareness of this moment in this body. If it feels comfortable, I invite you to just put a hand on some part of your body, maybe your chest or belly or any part of the body that feels like it needs, needs some touch, caring touch. And again, if this doesn't feel comfortable, it can just opt out of this. Um, but if it does feel available, just taking a moment to tune into this feeling of contact between your hand and your body, just noticing maybe there's a feeling of warmth, feeling of contact, maybe a sense of bringing a little bit of energy to this part of the body maybe even feeling into some feeling of touching ourselves with some care. And noticing how it is to receive that, if that feels available. And for the meditation tonight, I invite us into practicing with some loving kindness, or we can just think of this as friendliness towards ourselves and others. We'll all be offering some phrases or many different ways to engage with them. We can say them to ourselves. We can just listen, feel how they land in our bodies or we can just let the let my voice be a background for your own practice. But as we move into this practice, practice of loving kindness or friendliness, 
sometimes we use the poly word of metta. I invite you to bring to mind some being who it feels easy to offer some care to, offer friendliness to. So it might be um, maybe a child, a parent or grandparent, might be a pet, it might be a favorite tree from our neighborhood, any being that just feels easy to care about, easy to offer some friendliness to. I'm just taking a moment to let that being arise in our awareness. We might imagine them, maybe picture them in an environment where we know they enjoy being. Or we might just think of a picture of them, like a picture that we have of them. Or could we be just bringing up a felt sense of their presence? And just noticing even, is there anything that happens in our awareness as we call to mind this, this being that we care about? I notice a little smile on my face. I feel um, my face widening a little bit in a smile. I noticed a uh, sensation in my chest of a little softening, maybe an opening. So just noticing if there's any way that this being is impacting our awareness in this moment. And just keeping our awareness on this being, maybe visualizing them or feeling their presence we're calling up that picture of them. I'm gonna share some phrases and you can offer them as well or just listen. May you be safe and protected. May you be happy. May you find ease and peace. May you receive the care that you need. May you be held in kindness and compassion. May you be free. May you be safe and protected. May you be happy. May you find peace and ease. May you receive the care that you need. May you be held in kindness and compassion. May you be free. May you be safe and protected. May you be happy. May you find ease and peace. 
May you receive the care that you need. May you be held in kindness and compassion. May you be free. Just noticing how is it in this moment? Noticing if there's, just noticing what arises from these phrases, from bringing this being into our awareness, who we care about, who we're wishing well to, or extending this friendliness or loving kindness towards them. Just noticing what happens inside of ourselves as we do this. I notice some feelings of warmth, a kind of softening in my chest and solar plexus and belly. Just noticing, and you may have a very different experience. There may even be resistance or frustration that arises and uh, just trying to be as, extend as much kindness and friendliness as we can, even towards that experience of frustration. And if there is some feeling of warmth there, just fanning the embers of that, that experience? How can we encourage that maybe small flame of warmth, caring, friendliness? And allow it to be in our experience. Maybe allow it to grow a little bit if that feels possible or available. And I just continue with more phrases towards this being who we care about. May you be safe and protected. May you be happy. May you find ease and peace. May you receive the care that you need. May you be held in kindness and compassion. May you be free. I'm just gonna allow a little silence and if there are any phrases that resonated for you or if you have your own phrases, feel free to continue to offer them and continue to fan the embers of this, of our care, our friendliness, our loving kindness towards this being as we practice for just a couple minutes in silence.
as we continue this practice of friendliness, good wishing, of loving kindness, you can continue to offer your good wishes to the being who you've already been directing them to, uh, someone who you care for, wish well. Or um, you can also let that being go with our thanks, with your thanks. And, um, and I offer that we turn to offer ourselves these good wishes. Sometimes it's helpful to bring to mind someone who we care about, who is easy to wish well as a way to kind of get like start this fire of metta in our in our hearts, in our bodies. Um, and then we can turn to offering ourselves metta or offering metta to someone who's a little less easy to care for. In this case, I offer that we turn towards ourselves. And for me, it can be helpful to just place a hand on my chest or belly or both. Offering myself some care through touch and you may have already been doing this. So just to continue that sense of contact. We can also bring to mind an image of ourselves from when we were young, maybe a picture of ourselves as a child where we can just be here with our own bodies, extending our good wishes towards ourselves. And I continue with the phrases, directing them to myself. And uh, you may also direct these phrases to yourselves. You can even say them out loud if that's helpful. So we're all muted here. Or just let my voice be a background or just wash over you. Whatever feels most beneficial right now. May I be safe and protected. May I be happy. May I find ease and peace. May I receive the care that I need. May I be held in kindness and compassion. May I be free. May I be safe and protected. May I be happy. May I find ease and peace. May I receive the care that I need. May I be held in kindness and compassion. May I be free. May I be safe and protected. May I be happy.
May I find ease and peace. May I receive the care that I need. May I be held in kindness and compassion. May I be free. May I be safe and protected. May I be happy. May I find ease and peace. May I receive the care that I need. May I be held in kindness and compassion. May I be free. I invite you to continue this practice in silence. You can continue to offer yourself good wishes, or there may be another, another being that you want to offer them to. Whatever comes up is probably the right choice. So just following your own inner guide. And you might just pick one phrase that's resonated for you and offer that, or um, you may have your own phrases or continue any of the phrases that you remember. Or you can just sit with the felt sense of good wishes and just continue to blow on the embers of this friendliness and well-wishing without having to add any words. Just continuing to practice in the way that feels best. And we'll continue in silence for probably seven or eight minutes.
as we come near the end of this practice, I want to invite in any gratitude or appreciation that is present. Just tuning in to see if we want to offer ourselves any gratitude or appreciation for showing up to practice. Or we may wish to offer some gratitude to our community here today, the support that we receive from community for our practice. Or if there is anyone else who we're grateful for, may just be offering gratitude to the earth for supporting us, feeding us, clothing us and sheltering us. Maybe offering gratitude to the sky for being so big, holding everything. Just offering gratitude in any direction that feels right in this moment. I'm going to invite the sound of the bell to end our practice.